Hi, everybody. My name is Latif Hamlani, and I manage SUSE's Global Technical Alliance with AWS. I'm joined by Will Godfrey, who leads uh, product management for Rancher. Uh, and what I'd like to do uh, in, in the next few minutes is spend a, 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 some time on what we've recently launched on the AWS marketplace and why it's important for our customers, for SUSE, and for our channel partners. Will uh, will then follow with a demo on customers on how customers can procure Rancher via the AWS marketplace. So what we so what did we uh, launch on the AWS marketplace? What what we've launched is um, uh, a, a few listings, but essentially what we've done is we've partnered with AWS, um, enabling customers to purchase Rancher support contracts uh, through the AWS marketplace. Uh, this means that as an AWS customer, um, you can use your existing payment arrangements with AWS to buy Rancher support. They still get the same world-class Rancher support directly from SUSE, but they can do all of this via self-service through the AWS marketplace. So what exactly have we published? Well, we've published three listings. Uh, first one is the Rancher setup that installs the free version of Rancher on an Amazon EKS cluster. Then we have two listings that add a paid subscription to the existing install of Rancher running in AWS. One of them is for uh, EU, UK, and the other one is for the US and the rest of the world. And, and the reason why we've done this is for, for tax and, and accounting reasons. So let's turn now to, you know, how is this Rancher listing on our AWS marketplace different to some of the traditional products that we've sold on, on the marketplace like Slash for SAP. Well, with Rancher, SUSE is now the seller of record, also known as third party, versus Slash for SAP, where AWS is the seller of record, also known as second party. With SUSE as the seller of record, we unlock three new features. One, customers get support directly from SUSE. Number two, we get a lot more customer insight and data on marketplace transactions. And number three, we can now add channel partners to the transaction, also known as the channel partner private offer. Uh, and, and by the way, we are working on an FAQ um, and that will be published very soon. So please look out for that on your uh, favorite, you know, uh, favorite enablement, internal enablement um, site. So now let's turn to why customers prefer buying products from the marketplace. Firstly, it makes it really easy for them to find, buy, and deploy third-party products in AWS. Secondly, they get to draw down against their spend commitments to AWS for which they get special discounts via their enterprise discount program. It also simplifies billing because they get all their purchases for AWS services and third-party services on one consolidated bill. And thirdly, they get control and visibility over their cloud spending and a, and a list of uh, vendors that have been vetted and approved by AWS. So, you know, a more trusted way of, of buying. Hi, I'm Kevin Ayers, a solutions architect with SUSE, and I want to give you a quick in introduction to SUSE Rancher. And I think we'll begin with the premise that it's a sprawling multi-cluster Kubernetes world. So SUSE Rancher is a complete software solution for teams adopting containers or wanting to manage their existing container landscapes. It addresses the operational and security challenges of maintaining, managing multiple clusters across any infrastructure while providing DevOps teams with the integrated uh, tooling and, and applications for managing and monitoring their containerized workloads and their GitOps uh, workflows. SUSE Rancher has really pioneered the multi-cluster core to cloud to edge landscape for years now. With the release of OpenShift and Tanzu, we're seeing the competition trying to catch up. But SUSE Rancher has the critical momentum and continues to innovate well ahead of the market. The SUSE Rancher project and the supported product uh, brings centralized visibility and tooling for consistency, security, and management of your DevOps and large-scale production environments. And not only is SUSE the leader in the two most important technologies powering di digital transformation, uh, those being Linux and Kubernetes, 
But unlike our competition who focus on locking you into proprietary technology stacks, our open interoperable approach puts all the control in your hands to choose the best technology, whether it's SUSE or not. And for Linux, that means you can manage any Linux distribution across the Linux, uh, the SUSE Linux family or from another vendors while using SUSE products and projects. For Kubernetes, it means you get a consistent and complete management experience for any distribution running on any popular OS across any infrastructure environment from the data center to the cloud to the edge. In addition to supporting all major Linux distributions and all CNCF certified Kubernetes distros, SUSE Rancher has done extensive engineering work with Amazon, resulting in the most cohesive experience with Amazon EKS, including Amazon Linux worker nodes. And now finally, we have a focus on uh, the SUSE and, and Amazon Alliance. The EKS service on EC2 is treated as a first-class citizen with additional engineering and support built into the product by leveraging AWS APIs. And we boast, uh, we boast full lifecycle management of EKS managed clusters and node groups within SUSE Rancher, including uh, node pool management, security policies, RBAC, et cetera. And these are not just imported or downstream clusters, but deployable from within the Rancher UI. Okay, that was my quick introduction to SUSE Rancher, and thanks for your time today. So first off, we're going to deploy Rancher in AWS, and to do that, we're going to use the Rancher setup tool on the Amazon Marketplace. This will install a open source version of Rancher in AWS, and we just need to fill out this CloudFormation template here. Once we do that, it will launch the wizard, which we now see here on our screen, the SUSE Rancher setup wizard. And we just have to answer a few questions to get started. So as you can see here, the wizard is really quite simple. We just have to answer a few questions, such as the region we want to deploy to, uh, the size and capacity of cluster we're planning for, et cetera. And once we've completed the wizard, then we simply hit this button here and it will uh, build our Rancher environment in AWS. Now that we've deployed our Rancher environment, we're going to go back to the marketplace to purchase support for that Rancher setup. After we check out of this listing, we're going to install the CSP adapter container. The adapter container is a small piece of code that's going to run inside our Rancher environment, and it's going to validate that we're in compliance with uh, the amount of licenses we've purchased for Rancher. Now, once we've checked out, we're going to go to install the adapter. Now, in order to install the adapter, we're going to have to uh, go through a few prerequisites first. So this documentation here you see will guide us through what we need to do to prepare the cluster for the CSP adapter. Um, and once we do that, it's going to be just a matter of a few Helm commands that we're going to issue to deploy this adapter container into the Rancher environment that we've previously set up. Now, again, we could have also deployed this on a Rancher environment that was deployed to EKS um, outside of the Rancher setup tool. It doesn't have to use that curated installer we used in the beginning. After we've installed the adapter, if we go back to our Rancher UI, then we might notice we have this banner now that appears at the top of the page. This banner will let us know if we are out of compliance with the amount of licenses we've purchased. And finally, now that we have a supported Rancher installation, we can get support at any time by clicking on the Get Support button in the lower left-hand side of the navigation bar. And then we'll see this page here where we can click Get Support, and we can then download a support config. The support config is the file that we'll then take to go to the SUSE Customer Center and open a support case on behalf of our Rancher environment.